good YouTube, it's YBC and I am back bringing another video and in this video I am going to be going on a huge 2 million MT shopping spree to buy the best team possible in NBA 2K21 my team. Real quick before we hop into the video and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated guys. Right now it is 3. 49 a.m. at the time I'm recording this video. I'm not really sure if you guys did see that, but yeah, I do have a very long day ahead of me. Plan I have, I have a lot, and I mean a lot of errands to run and take care of. So yeah, this is the only time I'm able to make a video for today. So like would be beyond greatly appreciated. You guys did show a lot of love to these shopping spree type of videos back in NBA 2K19, also NBA 2K20, my team, which I really do appreciate a lot. Thank you guys. So we're back doing it right here in NBA 2K21, my team, as yesterday. 2K did release the first ever Pink Diamond card and packs being Pink Diamond Mountain Ginobili. So I felt like right now is a pretty good time to go on a shopping spree because the market is all over the place. And also because I need to update my squad pretty badly. You guys will see when we go over my team and definitely, definitely need some upgrades. Now there are a couple things that I do want to go over right here in this video and the first thing is that I am on PC when it comes to this video. You guys know me when it came to NBA 2K20, my team, I went back and forth between PC and console but for this video right here guys, I'm going to be on PC. So when I do buy these players right here, the prices will be a lot different than what they are on console. Some cards may be lower, some cards may be higher, a lot higher guys. So yeah, just typically depends on what the, what the card I get, how rare it is on PC. So I'm just letting you guys know the market is going to be a pretty different market compared to the ones you guys normally see on console on PS4 slash Xbox. And now the second thing that I do want to get to right here in this video is that when it comes to me buying the best team, that's my main goal for this video. I'm trying to buy the best team possible off the auction house. Obviously the best team possible right now in the game consists of cards like Pink Diamond Paul Pierce, Pink Diamond George Mikan, Pink Diamond Artist Gilmore guys because those are all reward cards and cards that you have to grind to get. Gallagher, Elgin Baylor too guys. So this, this team right here is not going to be the best you can get in the entire game but I am going to make it to try for it to be the best that you can buy off of the auction house. So hopping straight into my team right here. First things first, we are going to be going over my current lineup right here. And you guys can see it, it most definitely needs some upgrades pretty badly. The crazy thing is when it comes to this lineup right here is that it literally is my best lineup. You guys can see right here, I'm trying to make a lot of my best available players. These are all the players right here, the best players I do have in my collection. This is literally it. With that being said, I pretty much sold my entire collection to rack up 2 million MT as you can see in the top right hand corner. So based off that, no, without further ado, let's go on ahead and get straight to it and start upgrading the squad. Now I do want to go by position by position when it comes to upgrading the squad. So when it comes to the first position right here, the point guard, that's exactly what I'm going to upgrade first. When it comes to the point guard that I do want to buy, I want to buy this Amethyst Derrick Rose card. In my opinion, this Amethyst Derrick Rose card is the best point guard in the game. Everybody has their own opinions and preference, but I think this card right here is the best in the game. Now, I'm honestly kind of scared to see how much this Derrick Rose card right here is going for. So, we'll take a look right here at him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 550,000 MT with three minutes left. I mean, I kind of expected him to be around 300 to 400,000 MT. But 500K right here, guys, is a ton. And we're going to spend right here 700K. We're going to place a magic bid on this Derrick Rose card right here. For 700,000 MT, and hopefully with two minutes left, we're able to secure the bag and get this Derrick Rose card. So far, so good right here, guys. As there's 10 seconds left right here for this Derrick Rose card. Looks like no one has outbid me yet. Five, four, three, two, one, and boom. We just secured this Amethyst Derrick Rose card right here for 500 and around 80-ish thousand MT. Honestly, forgot, but welcome to the collection, D Rose. Now, I'm pretty sure that that right there is going to be the most I do spend for a card in this entire video. <laughs> but yeah, moving forward right here now onto the backup point guard. The backup point guard that I do want for my team is this Pink Diamond Bob Cousy card in the exchange market. Now, when it comes to this Bob Cousy card right here in the exchange, I have done a pretty good amount of work when it comes to completing, completing this set for Bob Cousy. And that is mainly due to me ripping a ton of packs for Pink Diamond Mono Ginobili. The duplicate cards that I had, I put in this set right here. Diamond card, Alonzo Morning, I pulled them like around five times. I put one of them in here. Ruby point guard right here, originally owned. I did pull a ton of these Patty Mills right here, and I'm gonna add one more Patty Mills to complete this set, being five out of five. 
Now when it comes to the emeralds, I already put all the emeralds right here. Bronzes, okay. This is where 2K gets a little bit scammy when it comes to <laughs> the exchange. <laughs> now I do have 17 out of 18 bronzes you guys can see right here, but they are originally owned. So I cannot go to the auction house to buy bronze cards because I have to be the original owner of them. I have to pull the bronze card out of the pack. So we have to pull guys one more bronze card out of some of these league packs right here. Hopefully we can pull them in like the first two or three. So we can get it out of the way. But yeah, that is exactly how 2K does scam you in a way. And kind of like take your money when it comes to the exchange. Because the original owner, being the original owner of cards literally requires you to either get the cards. We get it right here on a second pack. Requires you to get the card out of grind the game mode. Like domination. And I don't think you do domination unless you lock it in. You pretty much have to pull the cards to be the original owner to put it into an exchange set. Which means, in other words, you have to spend money. But yeah, I, I did get lucky right here and pulled this Caleb Martin card right here on the second pack. So we're going to add him in right here. And boom, 18 out of 18 now. Bronze are, are in this collection for Koozie. I just need five regular Amethyst cards and then two Amethyst Lager cards. And then that will be enough to complete this set for Koozie. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. As you can see, we're now in auction house. We're going to filter the Amethyst tier in the auction house. Hopefully the Amethyst cards right here are pretty cheap. And yeah, it looks like they are pretty cheap. Luis Gold is going for around... 5,000 MT, and yeah, we're gonna buy a few of these, five of these skulls we need for 5k MT. It's gonna cost us 25,000 MT, but it is going to be, I think, worth it for Koozie in the end. As you guys see right here, wow, there's actually a few skulls for 3.6 thousand MT, so I'll take that right there, and this right here with our fifth skull that we bought. Now it is time right here that we do buy the two Amethyst tiered Laker cards. And I think, unfortunately, they all go for over 100,000 MT. Oh, wait, hold on. AD, 100K MT. Boom, I bought that. Kobe, 30K MT. No other user has bought that, unfortunately. It kind of gets on my nerves a little bit when in, in the auction house. <laughs> all right, now, with around three minutes left right here, this Anthony Davis is going to expire for around 100,000 MT. I'm going to place a max bid right here for him of 160,000 MT. And just wait and hopefully we get them and no one outbids me. Unfortunately, someone did outbid me, guys, and bid like 230,000 MT on that Amethyst Anthony Davis card. But as you can see right here, we did secure the second Los Angeles Laker for that Bob Cousy collection. At only 110,000 MT, we just secured this Amethyst LeBron and James. So I saved 100,000 MT by buying LeBron over AD because, like I said, somebody outbid me for over 200K. All right, you guys can see right here that we got this Pink Diamond Bob Cousy pack right here. And now it is time to give my guy, Pink Diamond Bob Cousy, a warm welcome again to my collection. Because I already, I already have him on PS4, guys. This right here being on PC. Going to give him another warm welcome to my collection. As right now, he is currently going to be the backup point guard. He might start. He might start. We'll see. But yeah, welcome again to the collection. Welcome aboard to the squad. Pink Diamond Bob Cousy. It's always cool to see that nice Pink Diamond animation out of a pack all right so that right there now guys is going to do it for my point guard position we're now moving on to the shooting guard position and i'm pretty sure you guys already know who i'm going to try and target i do want this pink diamond modern Ginobili card right here it looks like it's going for around 500 to 600 thousand mt on the auction block there's no doubt about it guys that this pink diamond modern Ginobili card right here is the best shooting guard right now in the game it looks like right here i'm gonna have to bid 660,000 MT for this card. Oh boy, this man. Never mind. It looks like I'm gonna have to bid actually closer to 800,000 MT for this card. This man, Mount Ginobili, is going for a ridiculous amount. Okay, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try and bother to try and outbid this guy right here for a money. I'm just gonna try and focus on getting the next Mount Ginobili. Oh boy, it looks like he's climbing to a million MT. Not gonna lie, guys, I might run out of MT to build this squad. But for the main portion of my squad, guys, honestly, the cards are not that expensive at all compared to the guards. I have no idea why these why these guards are extremely expensive compared to the other position guys. But yeah, with a minute left to go right here, I'm going to try and get this Ginobili card right here again. <laughs> All right, guys, try number two right here for this Pink Diamond Manu card. I'm going to bid 800,000 MT, and hopefully that is enough for this card right here with three seconds, two seconds, one. It's not even higher. Oh, my goodness. This dude right here is going for over a million MT. That is wild. When it comes to attempt slash try number three and getting Manu, we're going to have to wait around 12 minutes. So while we do wait, I do want to actually buy my backup shooting guard position. My backup shooting guard right here, guys, is going to be from the Gold State Warriors. My guy, Ruby Clay Thompson. This card right here is extremely cheap. 
and he is amazing for his price guys i'm gonna happily take this clay Thompson card right here for 4.5 kmt as my backup shooting guard all right guys there's my new card right here with eight seconds left hopefully we can get lucky and get in front of million mt which honestly guys i'm not really thinking i'm going to although i did play this bit right here for 610,000 mt hold on wait a minute did we just get this manu card for 610,000 mt yes we did guys Manu has been going over 4 million MT for like every single one and if we're over a million MT within like the last 20 minutes. I cannot believe we got this card right here for 600,000 MT. That is a steal on the PC. So that right there guys was a massive, massive W and now moving on to the small forward position. And when it comes to the starting small forward I want on my team, I want Diamond Paul George. So this Paul George card right here is going to... And it looks like for around 100-ish thousand MT. Okay, maybe a little more than that. I'm going to try and place a max bid right here of 200-ish thousand MT around that range. Looks like he's going for a little bit more than that. Um, Looks like we just got him right here for 230,000 MT, I think. I think we did. Yeah, 230,000 MT, I guess. I'll take it. That's not a bad price at all for this Paul George card. Not gonna lie guys, I probably could have got the Paul George for a little bit cheaper, but honestly, I was just kind of tired of waiting around for cards because I waited over 20 minutes for that Pink Diamond Mind Ginobili card. Now, moving forward right here to the backup small four position now, I think I'm going to try and get this Amethyst card, this Amethyst Howell card. Bailey Howell, guys. This card right here, Bailey Howell, I've heard nothing but great things about him. I have not used him yet, but I've seen his signatures, I've seen his badge, I've seen his attributes. This card right here, guys, is an incredible card for only 12,000 MT. I will happily take him. He's way too good to pass up for his price. Moving on right here now, guys, to the starting power four position for my team. I really, really want this Diamond Larry Bird card right here, as there is the next one that does expire in 25 minutes, although I don't think I'm going to be able to afford him. And I'm pretty sure this Larry Bird card right here, guys, does go for like around 500,000 MT, but I'm going to wait out the 25 minutes right here and hopefully get this Larry Bird card. So after waiting about 25 minutes for that Larry Bird card, unfortunately, guys... I was correct, and he was going for around 500,000 MT. So now when it comes to the other power forwards I do want, guys, I do want Amethyst Luis Scully. He just came out in the in the idol set. I almost said Prime, because Prime is NBA 2K20, in the idol set, guys. And this Luis Scully card right here for only around 4,000, better yet, only 3,000 MT is, again, way too good to pass up for his price. Welcome to the collection. Luis Scola. So that right there is going to wrap it up for the power forward position. I'm going to save my MT up and get that Larry Bird or just a better power forward when the next one does come out. Guys, honestly, I'm not really too worried about a backup power forward that much. And now moving on to the backup center position, I'm going to try and get this Amethyst Chris out for Zingas card. And I'm pretty sure this Amethyst Chris out for Zingas card is only going for like around 15-ish thousand MT. I don't think he's going for anything crazy because for one, he's a new card and two, he's an Amethyst. Not much, not much Amethyst cards go for a ton of MT. And we're going to take a look at him right here. Yes, did correct it. Only 11.7 thousand MT. Another user bought that one. 10.6. Has somebody bought this one? Yeah, unfortunately somebody did. About 13.9. Can I get him for 13.9? No, I can't. 13.9 again? No, I can't. And I'm not going to bother trying to go for that 13 even. Somebody probably already bought him. So moving forward right here now, guys, onto the backup center position. I'm in kind of a dilemma when it comes to this one because I'm going to have to choose between four cards that honestly are pretty much as good as as each other and those four cards being this diamond Hakeem Olajuwon right here also this diamond Ben Wallace all of Ben Wallace a little bit it looks like out of my price range <laughs> also this Amethyst Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card right here and also the fourth one being this diamond Alonzo Morning card although really it's down to three because as we went over this Ben Wallace card right here he's going for, for 450,000 MT and I only do have 150,000 <laughs> MT. So yeah, when it comes to this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card right here, guys, Kareem is somebody who I'm eyeing, although when it comes to Kareem, he's an amethyst and he is not an up-to-date card. So I'm kind of eliminating him alongside Hakeem Lajuan. I think Hakeem Lajuan is also not an up-to-date card compared to Alonzo Morning. So therefore, guys, I'm going to buy this Alonzo Morning card right here because he's a more up-to-date card than Hakeem and also Kareem, I think he can also hold more badges as well because he's a diamond card. Don't know 100% the badge system. But that's my assumption, guys, when it comes to this Alonzo Morning card. So I'm going to try and scroll right here to see if I can buy, find one for a good price, like around 50-ish thousand MT, around 60. 
And boom, just like that, we have found him going for like around a range of 70,000 MT. I'm gonna try and buy this one right here for 73.1. I successfully bought him. This right here is going to be the last card that I do buy, like I said, for today. As a matter of fact, there is actually one more card I do wanna buy, kinda like a place for the card for my team, and that is, guys, this, Amethyst, the Christie card right here, guys. The Christie card right here is going for around a range of 70-ish thousand MT. It looks like I do have enough right here. Gonna spend 79.25. And yeah, the reason why I'm getting this Doug Christie card is kind of like to be a place for all my team until I get that Diamond Larry Bird card that I really want really badly. So that right there, guys, is going to conclude it for the Shopping 3 video. So how I want to end off this video right here is show you guys one final look at my updated squad. So hopping straight into it right here again to my lineup, guys. And now time that we... Update this lineup with my best available players and boom here. We are 2 million MT Later, I did do a couple adjustments right here for this team as we do have right here Ping down Bob Cousy starting at the point guard position honestly the team I have I honestly think Derrick Rose is better off coming off the bench Ping down Mario Ginobili starting at the shooting guard position Diamond Paul George at the small forward Amethyst Bailey Howell at the power forward position and Amethyst Kristaps P aka the unicorn at the center position. Best we went over it, Derrick Rose at the back of point guard position. My guy Ruby Clay Thompson, great 3 and D player at the shooting guard. My guy Doug Christie as well at the small forward. Amethyst Luis Cole at the power forward and Diamond Long's Morning at the center position. And with company 11, 12, and 13th man, honestly, you guys know me. I just use silver bronze players just for place fillers because I don't like spending contracts on rubies and other cards who won't be getting any minutes for my team. But yeah, here it is, guys. Here is my updated squad. 2 million MT later. Like I said, I'm missing Bird. And I really, really want that Bird card. I'm going to be getting Bird soon. And once I get Bird, I really feel like this team right here is like the best team you could buy in the game. And once I do get Bird, guys, I'm going to insert him over Howell. And then I'm going to take Howell and put him over either Christie or Clay off the bench. I don't know yet. But yeah, I want that Larry Bird, guys, so bad. I'm sure a lot of you guys could tell how bad I want that Bird card. I have Bird on PS4. And I love them a lot. I need them on PC really badly. That 2 million MT shopping spree, guys, did take over an hour. And right now, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it is currently 5.02 a.m. in the morning. We started off this video recording at like around 3.45. We did have to do a lot of waiting. But honestly, it was well worth the wait, especially for that Ginobili card. The wait was definitely worth it for Ginobili. So based off that, if you guys did enjoy this video right here, make sure you guys go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button and also drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. And as usual, as always, thanks for watching, and this is YBC, and I'm out. Peace.